Hey, what's happening guys? Today I want to talk to you for just a couple minutes about low side versus high side switching when we're using a transistor in a circuit and which one is the correct way to do it. There really is no correct way to do it. It depends on the situation. And uh, let's talk about that. So, first of all, here is a low side switching situation. Here's our NPN transistor. There's the base, the collector, and the emitter. And then our load is up here. Our load is always getting VCC. And the transistor is switching the emitter to ground on and off. Over here is our high side switching. There's our base. Our collector is always getting VCC. And our emitter is switching the load on and off. And while we are talking about BJTs here in this example, this also works for N-channel MOSFETs pretty much the same way. And since we're using the transistor as a switch and not as an amplifier, we want it to operate in saturation mode, which means we need enough current coming into the base to open or operate the transistor fully. Now, I'm sure most of you have been taught to use the low side configuration of always switching the ground on and off. But that is not always the best case scenario. Um, for either type, either a BJT or a MOSFET, it really depends on what you want the circuit to do. And if you're just switching, say, I mean, I mean say your load here is simply an LED. Well, it doesn't matter which way you go. Either way is going to work just fine. But if you're bringing power to an entire circuit, then yeah, things can change a little bit. Think about this for a second. What are these two different things doing? Well, the low side switch is switching ground while the high side switch is connecting our power supply or our voltage. Generally, in a circuit, you want to keep the ground connected and switch the power. Now, one reason for that is that even if a transistor is turned fully on, or, yeah, when it's fully on, there's still a small voltage drop across it. And that voltage drop means that the ground is not going to be at zero for that device. For Like I said, for something like an LED, it doesn't matter. However, if you're switching on and off a circuit with a microcontroller or a microprocessor, then ground needs to be ground or otherwise you're going to have problems with the circuit so when you have a load that requires a ground you really need to use a high side switch so just you know as an easy rule of, uh, to, to do this if you're turning a device on and off a low side switch is the way to go however if you're delivering power to an entire circuit or something that's going to be voltage sensitive where you need ground to be zero volts then you want to use the high side circuit now, one other um, permutation of this is using a driver transistor. So here's our other situation using the driver transistor. And we're using that in this case to drive uh, a MOSFET. Now, if you don't have a line level MOSFET, which are made to work with micro uh, controllers, then the 3.3 volt to 5 volts that you're gonna get out of your microcontroller uh, GPIO pin is not going to be enough to fully open up your MOSFET. So in this case, what we can do is we can use a driver transistor to drive that MOSFET fully open so that we can get, you know, say our load here needs 12 volts. We can get the full 12 volt out of that MOSFET. And the reason we want to do that, because unless the MOSFET is driven fully open, then its RDS on is going to be pretty high, which means you are not going to get the full current carrying capability of the MOSFET. And yeah, you can do this here. It doesn't have to be a MOSFET. It can be another BJT. Generally, in this case, it would be a PNP BJT, and you drive them like that. So don't confuse this with a Darlington. This is simply one transistor driving another transistor. I hope that helps you guys understand a little bit about high speed and low speed switching 
or high side and low side switching. It's early. And uh, what's the best case to use each one? If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.